Hey, what's up, friends? It's Moses here. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. So, as you can tell, of course, I'm at home. Uh, it's my day off, but I want to make this quick video uh, in response to someone who requested me to make it because she's going to be taking her um, her CDL exam, and she wanted me to kind of help uh, point out some things uh, to do with backing. Um, and so hopefully it can be able, it will be able to help her and also be able to help any of you that are getting ready uh, to go take your CDL, but also those that are in training where you are just um, maybe finding some problems with backing up. Um, as in the other videos that I've, uh, I've made about backing, I, I, I tend to want to emphasize uh, the concepts because if you can understand the concepts, then backing can become easier. But if you don't understand the concepts, it can be a challenge. So I'm going to be more on um, trying to get you to, to understand the concepts that will be able to help you. Because right now, if you are in training, the trainer is trying to help you out. Uh, actually, for those of you that are in um, a tracking school, I know that uh, they, uh, since you are new to this, they probably are giving you reference points and telling you when you see the corn, when you see maybe the mud flap, or when you see uh, the landing gear, or uh, use this technique. There are techniques that they are giving you to help you pass your test. But when you get experience, you realize that you don't go by those techniques of looking at the mud flap and looking at the landing gear and looking at the cone. Actually, you don't even have any cones in the, uh, in, the, um, in the real world. So it's all about understanding the concepts. So I'm going to try and, and see if I can point out some things that can help you. Of course, these are things just to help add to what um, the trainer or the teacher or the instructor is giving you. If you can understand this, then probably, hopefully, they'll be able to help you out. So uh, we are just going to go uh, at the table and I'm going to be using uh, my my truck. For those of you that already know the channel, I am an own operator. I bought this truck, fully paid off. It's not leased. So we are going to use that. And just so you know, uh, I'm here with my young daughter. So if you hear any noise or if she calls on me, uh, she is my priority. So if, you, if I'm uh, in the middle of explaining and then she needs me, I will have to first attend to her. But she knows that dad is making a video. So hopefully uh, she doesn't need me. But if she needs me, I'll have to break it short and then I'll come back to you. All right. Let's go to the table and see what we can do. Okay. So... One, one, two, three. Okay, so uh, this is what we have right here. Um, uh, because the person who requested the video was saying that they are, uh, they are trying to learn the offsetting. So offsetting, for those of you that may not know, it's just about like getting out of, and I hope I remember things right. You are trying to get out of this lane this lane right here and going into this lane how do you do that uh, because I think that her problem was uh, when she she tries to get in there when it comes time to pulling up uh, she I think she she wants to to get that she's doing good but she wants to get to know how to straighten it because if she's not in properly how does she straighten up and what side does she pull over so let's start with the very first uh, thing that I think uh, can be confusing. When we go in tracking school, the first thing that they teach us is uh, straight line backing. In other words, uh, I think it's even the first thing um, they test you on when you go to, to be tested. In other words, how do you back up a trailer straight? Now, the uh, straight into the, uh, you know, like the space they've given you. That is the basic way to learn how to back up. And that's the first thing that they, they do what they teach us, um, straight line backing. Now, the, when they teach us that, this is what they tell us. They, we are seated right here and they tell us that when, this, when we are backing up and this trailer starts to go this side, we need to turn the, the wheels this side so that this trailer can go back. And when we look in the mirror and we see it this side, we need to turn the wheel that side so that this trailer can come, come back. For some reason, because it's the first lesson that we learn, 
and because it's kind of like a quick uh, and easy concept of when you see that trailer this coming this side, you turn the wheel this side. If you see it going the other side, you turn it that side. Because that's the first thing we learn, and it is a quick concept to learn. And when it, when we first do it, we realize, wow, this thing works. Because whenever we see the trailer come this side, we turn. When we, and then it goes back. Whenever we see it that side, we turn and it goes back. Because it's so quick, and because it's the first concept, it gets into our subconscious mind that we kind of think that, oh, as long as my trailer is this side and I want it to go that side, all I have to do is to turn my wheel this side so it can go back. That concept alone, even though it is, it, it is good in um, backing up strain, straight, it can be a confusion and I think it's one of the things that confuses truck drivers that are starting out because what happens is th uh, they understand that concept works by doing that but what they forget is when that tractor is in this situation that concept is not working as easy as it was when you are underneath so there are a couple of things that we want to really remember first and foremost remember that uh, you always want to to bring back that, um, that, that tractor underneath because straight line backing is the easiest way of backing. So anytime your tractor is not underneath or straight with your trailer, your intention is always to bring it back to be straight with your trailer so that you can back up where you want to back up. That's the first thing that we want to remember that uh, that concept of uh, when you hear your trainer talking, uh, saying that get back under it, what they are meaning is get back. You are trying to get back to be in line with the uh, with the trailer. The other thing that you will hear me say a lot, that I say a lot, is always take it slow. That we even learn uh, in school. You always want to be as slow as possible. Now, uh, the confusion that comes in in most of the times when we are backing up as new truck drivers is oversteering. When we are, again, the reason I think that, in my opinion, the reason why we, we, we oversteer and the, where the confusion comes from, it comes from what we lack at first because they told us that when we see this trailer this, this side, we are supposed to turn the wheel this side straight so goes this side. Because that concept is within our subconscious mind whether we know it or not it is the thing that we learn so so much that when we see our trailer like this we kind of are thinking oh my trailer is so much like that so i have to oversteer we are trying so much and we oversteer trying to take this this uh trailer back this side and so you find the driver over steering steering so much because they're like my trailer is so much this side, so they oversteer to try and push it back. But what they forget is as they are trying to correct this to take it back, this truck here is also, remember, because when you turn it all the way, this truck is also going back like this. And it's also moving. So here's the thing that you need to remember. Whenever you are backing up, the reason why we say that take it slow is because you want to give time. There are a couple of things that you want to remember. Be slow. The other thing that you want to remember is in being slow, don't oversteer. Don't. It's something that is hard to explain, but for as we are, when we are new truck drivers, again, because of this concept of of turn so that your trailer goes back, we tend to oversteer. So what I want you to learn to do is not to oversteer, just make small steers and wait. When you make those small steers, don't be in a hurry when you, because when, when you make that steer and you see that it's not making, it's not moving like you wanted it to move, the, the temptation is to steer again, to continue steering so that it moves back. Because you still have this concept when you are backing in a, a straight line, that trailer would easily go back because you are straight already, right? So whenever you, you turn this side, that's, that, truck, that trailer would go back. 
And whenever you turn that side, that trailer would go back. But that's because you, you were in a straight line. So that concept kind of worked when you're in a straight line. It was, it was quick. The response was quick. But when you are at an angle, it's not going to be a quick response. But because you learned that you wanted to go that side by turning this side, you are going to end up oversteering because you are trying to force it to go that side. So I want you to learn to be patient. Make small turns. And when you are turn angle and you make that small turn, don't worry about being so fast in turning, in, 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 in steering even more because you are not seeing it. Give it time. So when you make, just make a small turn in the steering wheel, uh, you see, it's hard because now I'm not in that truck to show you what small turn means. But make a small turn and be patient and let it roll. Okay? As you make that small turn, let it roll. Don't be in, in a hurry to, to, to continue turning because you're not seeing the, uh, the trailer turn this side. Just wait a little bit and let it roll. Because as you wait, this truck here is going to go that side. So slowly by slowly. And it will start straightening up but don't over don't continue over steering because you are not seeing it do it again i know i'm repeating myself but because i want to point this uh, this back home when we i, I mean i want to uh, to uh, to make sure i'm making this point when we are learning to back up the first time in a straight line when we make that small uh, turn this thing is gonna go that way uh, let me see. Uh, hold on, guys. Okay, here you go. Okay, so, uh, sorry about that, uh, but as I said, she's, she comes first. So, when you are in a straight line, when you make that small turn, this because you're already in a straight line, it will be easy for you to see this change. Okay? When you make that turn, uh, that small turn, you'll be able to, to see that change because you are already straight. But when you are at an angle, when you make that turn, remember, it's not going to make, you're not going to see that change right away. It's going to take some time. So don't worry or don't be afraid that it's not turning and, and continue steering. No, turn and wait for it. That's why you see it's very important to be slow. So in addition to being slow as you're backing up, also be patient with it. When you turn, when you make that small turn in the steering wheel, wait a little bit and give it time to respond because this truck here is going to start moving that way because you already turned the wheel a little bit. The truck is going to start moving. As it's moving, it's, point, it's making uh, contact with this pivot that I showed you. Uh, I think it was in the last video or if you go back and look at the backing videos, I told you there's a pivot point here, the fifth wheel. As you make that, that turn, it's going to start making that turn, but it's going to take a little bit of time. That's why you have to be patient. Instead of continuing to steer, be patient. I give it some, some seconds and wait and just roll and wait. That's why it's easy to, I mean, that's why it's important to be slow. Roll and wait. Don't oversteer. Just roll and wait. Okay. So I want you to remember those concepts. First concept, remember that when you are at an angle, don't oversteer. And when you make a, an adjustment in the steering wheel, give it time to respond because this trailer here has, uh, uh, as you roll back, it's going to be turning little. It's going to push to this pivot point. It's going to uh, uh, make um, adjustments, but that, that adjustment may not be as fast as you think it is. Because in the first, uh, when you are ba backing up straight, you would see those adjustments quickly. At an angle, you're not going to see them as quickly as you saw them. So, with those, with those um, few things in place, knowing uh, that in place, let's talk about uh, if you, you are in this lane and you want to go to the other lane, lane what do you do? So, you're going to pull up, <coughs> excuse me, as straight, of course, what, I don't know um, what position they give you but you are gonna pull up in front and you are gonna turn your steering wheel uh, because what you want is this right here 
to go this side, right? So after you pull up, uh, whatever distance they've given you to pull up, you are going to turn your steering wheel all the way this side so that you end up in, in a position that is like this, right? You're gonna end up like turning it and being like that. What that is gonna be, uh, it, it will do, it, is you will lose kind of sight uh, this side as this trailer goes this side. You are gonna lose sight of where your trailer is at this side. But remember, I told you that the most important thing, uh, side you never want to lose sight of is this side. So, you pull up all the way as much, <coughs> excuse me, as much as you can, whatever space they give you, utilize it and pull it and pull up all the way. Now, when you turn your wheel, you turn it all the way so that you, you're going to end up to be like this, right? So, when you start to back up, when you start to back up this, this part of the trailer, right this part of the of the truck is going to start coming back underneath because when you pull up and you're like that i mean yeah when you when you make the the turn and you're like that you're going to start pushing this trailer is going to start going this side right but as it goes that side your truck is going to start also coming back this side okay now when when you do that when you are you are like that and it's going and it's going this this truck is also coming back this side you're gonna end up being somewhere like that so here is the trick as soon as you see your truck like this as soon as you see this line here your uh, the important thing is for you to look in this mirror so when you are turning from from that you, you were here like this you pulled up in front like that and then you turned like this you went like this this truck came back and like that as soon as you see this lane this or whatever cones or whatever when you see these cones you are good right so what you want if you look at the other videos that i said you are looking at these tires right that's in all the videos, uh, in, in all the videos concerning backing, I tell you that personally, what I want is to see these tires. And so I kind of assume that this tire right here, there's a line. What I want is this line right here to come and be perpendicular to this. And as much as possible, I want this line here to be closer to this line, not further away. So what I am imagining is bringing this trailer this line or the wheels to be as close as possible here without hitting uh, the cones. I know they put cones for you guys. I don't know if they, you have lines or cones when you're testing, but whether there's a trailer here, whether there is a, um, a line, whether there are cones, whatever you do, you are trying to imagine this line coming right here. This is where you want to be like this. Okay. And what you're trying to do is not to go like this because if you end up very far like this correcting it is going to be hard because you will end up being further away so as soon as you are here and you see this line you are like this straight back up in a way that again utilizing those small turns that i told you and giving it time to respond you want to now when you see that you are here like this what you want to do is you want to bring this side of the trailer this side. You don't want it to go that side. So I know when you are new, you look here and you think, oh my God, this is a small space. And so the temptation is you are going to turn this side to try and make that trailer go this side. But you don't want to do that. Whenever you are like this, what you want to do is you want to bring this side of the trailer to come like this. Okay? You want to do this. You don't want to, to go all the way like this before you do this. Because then you will be far away. Most likely you may end up hitting the cones on the other side. So when you are like this, when you see your, in your mirror you look and you see you are seeing this cone right here. If you see that you have enough space, uh, I, and I'm not, I don't want you to see a big space between this cone and the, uh, and the tears. As when you turn and you are like that, as soon as you see you are straight like this, you can see this cone right here. Then this is the reference point you have, this cone right here and this line or this uh, tandem or this tire. 
this tire right here. So what you want to do at that time, you want to start just again, remember, don't oversteer. I want you to remember that. Don't oversteer. Don't oversteer. And as you steer, just make small turns and wait a little bit. Roll, let it roll and give it time to respond. I'm telling you, it's going to respond. Because what you want to do is now to start. This thing is straight, right? So you want to start bringing this part, this side. So what are you going to do? That means you are going to turn you, uh, you, your wheels that side, right? Like this, so that this comes this side. But in doing that, please, don't oversteer. Don't lose sight of this side. Because now that you know what is this, uh, now that you are straight, remember, we are going back to that thing of never lose uh, uh, sight of this side. Remember that. The only time you lost sight is when you went here and you were straight like that and you wanted to bring it here. You turned like this just because you wanted this to go like that. But as soon as you come back and you can see this cone right here, don't, whatever you do, don't steer to lose sight of. Keep looking this side. If you are doing it right, I guarantee you, even without getting out, you will be safe on the other side as long as you bring this tire closer like this. And the way to do that is don't oversteer and don't be worried to go all the, like that. Don't go very far like that. What I want you to do is to imagine this tire coming as close as possible this side. And the reason why I say as close as possible because even when you are like this, you know you can pull up and, and just straighten up a little bit. But if you go and you leave a lot of space here and you go all the way that side because you are afraid of this side, you'll end up messing up. You may end up hitting the cones the other side or you, you'll end up pulling up will be a little challenging. But if you bring it closer like that, it will help. So, I know I'm repeating myself. It's going to be a long video, but I just want to make a point. Hopefully, I can make a point. Remember, uh, certain key things. One, when we are backing up in a straight line, it is easier to see it to, to see the changes that we need in the in the trailer because we are in a straight line. When we are at an angle, as new drivers, we tend to oversteer because we think we need to oversteer to because we are turning and we want this trailer to go back and be straight. That's not the way it works. The key is be slow, make small turns, and give it time. Because when you make that turn and you let the, trailer, uh, the, the truck roll, it's going to make the change little by little. It may not be as fast as you want it to be, but if you are going slow and you are giving it time and not making wide turns, it will go back. The whole point you want is to come to a point where you are straight. When you pull up like this, the only time you're going to lose sight of this area is because you have cranked it all the way, all the way that side to make this trailer go like this. As soon as you see this cone right here, as soon as you see it, assume this is a, a, a straight line. What you want to do is to bring this line to, peep, to be perpendicular. You want that line, assume now these are the tires you, as a line. You want it to be as close as to this line as possible. So that's why I'm saying don't go all the way like this. Don't wait to get in for you to start bringing it this side. Don't wait to get in. When you wait for that, remember it, it takes time for it to make the adjustments. It's going to mess you up. So as soon as you see the cone, as soon as you see this cone in there, make a decision. I'm not going to lose sight of this side and slowly make an adjustment by now you want to turn the other side because you want to bring that that this side, this side, right? As we learned in straight black in that when you want this trailer to go this side, you turn that side. So you're going to start making adjustments slowly and, uh, and just small adjustments to bring that trailer this side. And you wait for it. When you make the adjustment and you're not seeing the response right away, don't be in a hurry. Just take it slow and see what the trailer is doing. And you will see it come like that. When it comes like that, you just continue making that adjustment, okay? Slowly by slowly, 
slowly by slowly, and you will see yourself coming. Now, for some reason, if you end up maybe doing like that, and you find yourself, you are way off than what you wanted to be, maybe you find yourself like that, how do you straighten up? Now, remember, you'll be like that. Again, the whole point, as soon as, soon as you see this cone, you never lose sight of this side. So when you are straightening up, most neutral drivers, what we do is we think, oh, I'm that side. So they go, they turn this side. They are trying now to take the trailer like this. But by doing that, they end up in a situation where now they are way off. They can't see this side. And when they look the other side, they realize they are even out of the hole. I talked about that in the last video. So what you want to do always, when you are pulling up, again, don't lose sight of this side. So if you find yourself in a funny spot like that, you want to get underneath the trailer, okay? The best you can do is you want to straighten up. Don't go the other, don't, don't turn to go that side. Don't, please, don't turn to go that side because you want to do that. You want to get underneath the trailer. So if you find yourself in a situation like that, what you want to do is pull up, don't lose sight of this side, but pull up to get underneath, okay? Pull up like that to get underneath. Again, the whole point is for you not to lose sight of this area. And so when you are there, again, I know it's a little bit confusing because you look here and you're like, it looks like you're going to hit. But most of the time, it's not that you're going to hit because when you are like this and you turn that side, don't over, uh, don't oversteer. You, 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 turn, you turn that side to bring this trailer, this side, I'm telling you, when you are patient and you give it time, it's going to come slowly. It may look like you're going to hit the cone, but if you, are, if you have enough space, it will straighten up slowly by slowly. Again, the whole point here is give it time. Whenever you see this side, never lose sight of it. Whatever you do, always keep, side, uh, uh, keep seeing this side. So whenever you are pulling up, if you find yourself in a, in a mess, don't turn to go that side to pull up. It will mess you up. I'm telling you, it will mess you up. I see that a lot um, when I'm out there on the road. I help drivers uh, uh, who are in, in this dilemma because whenever they are in a situation like that when backing into a dog, logically, in their, the way they are thinking, they're like, okay, if I'm messed up like this, I need to turn this side so I can go that side. But when they do that, they end up in a situation where they, they no longer see this side and they're like that. So whenever you, see, you are able to see this side, again, when you are pulling up, pull up to, be, to get back underneath. And when I say underneath, I just mean to be straight. To be underneath. And when you are straight, again, the whole point, don't lose sight of this side. This is the best side. Always when you're backing up, you want to see this side. So anytime you, you are not seeing this side, you know you are doing something wrong. Unless you are at, at a customer place where you have to blind side. But if you are not in a position where you have to blind side, never lose sight of this side. So whenever you are pulling up, pull up in such a way that you are getting back underneath the trailer. And by underneath, I, I mean you are trying to be straight. And so in doing that, when you do that, your trailer will come back and you will still see this side. You won't lose. Never pull up. Never, never be like this and try to pull up like this. When that happens and you, you are not seeing this side, you've messed up. So anytime you are pulling up, pull up to be underneath the trailer. Because when you are underneath and you are straight like this, you will know what to do. Because now you will know that this back... I need to make this bag go like this. I know that was a, a lot to pack into a video, but hopefully uh, you get the idea. The whole point is for you to get the concepts. If you can get the concepts, hopefully they'll be able to help you. And the concepts are these. Don't be in a hurry. In other words, uh, take it slow. And then also don't oversteer. Don't oversteer. Because the temptation is that when you're not seeing that uh, uh, that trailer respond, you are remembering the first lesson that you learned in straight backing, whereby you are thinking, oh, it's not responding. So you oversteer by, by wanting to force it. But don't do that. So just make small turns and give it time as it rolls back. 
give it time to respond to that turn that you made before you continue um, steering. Otherwise, if you want to force it, you'll end up oversteering. So be careful about that. The other thing is don't, uh, the only time you lose um, in the offset backing, the only time you, you lose sight of, your, uh, of the driver uh, side of the trailer is when you are trying now to move it from one lane to the other lane. So that's why you have to crank it all the way, you know, like to the right, depending on which lane you're gonna go in. You crank it all the way to the opposite so that that uh, trailer can kind of be jackknifed. But when you start rolling back and that trailer comes back underneath, when you are underneath it, you should be able to see the cone or the trailer or the uh, the line, whatever they have there. You should be able to see it in your driving mirror, in your in the at the driver's side. As soon as you see that and you are straight and you can see it, then it is good news because you know now you have control. Of, of the situation. So the point from there is to make sure that you don't lose sight of your driver's side. Even when you're pulling up, just like I showed you in the video, pull up to get underneath the trailer. Don't pull up to, to try and go the other side because when you do that, you lose sight uh, you lose sight of your driving side. So when you are pulling up, the whole point is to pull up so you can stay straight. So when you're pulling up, you're pulling up to stay straight. Always pull up to get underneath the trailer and always, as much as possible, are on the driver's side, not the opposite side. Because now that you can see that trailer on your side, you don't want to lose a sight of it. And you want to always see that cone or that line or whatever they have uh, 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 where you're backing into. And when you see that, now you know that you're looking at your tire and trying to get your tire in in the lane or in the yeah in the lane or the line or whatever if the, if it was a dock you're trying to get it in there so that that tire that you are looking at in the mirror you are looking it you are looking at it and you want it to be inside that um that lane but you you are trying to bring it closer to this side so the way to bring it close closer to this side uh, as close as possible to this side or uh your your side is to turn the, uh, the wheel that side but again don't oversteer just make a small turn and let it roll as you look at it because you want the back of that trailer to go this side so if you want it to go this side that means you are turning the uh, your steering wheel the other side but not overturning it don't overturn that is the danger that we have so uh, you want to, to, to turn it that side so that the trailer the end of the trailer goes that side I know it's a little bit confusing, but if you rewatch this video and also watch the other videos that I've made on backing and you get the concept, use that concept in, in what they are teaching you or if you're in training in what they're training you to do. And if you can remember these concepts that I'm sharing, they should be able to help you like incorporate them in what your instructor or your trainer is teaching you and, uh, and you will start to see it makes sense. Um, I'm gonna see how I can be able to uh, to get some, you know, like some positions within the truck so that I can show you guys how I'm, uh, I make the adjustments uh, that I'm, I'm not oversteering like new truck drivers as we usually do when we are just starting out in the career. We tend to oversteer, so don't oversteer and don't look, when you're pulling up, don't lose sight of uh of your side you always want to see uh, what's happening on your side it's the most important thing that i can think of so hopefully that helps uh again just send me uh, questions if you have any and i'm gonna do my best to try and see how to come up with more videos because i know that backing is one of the things that is challenging when we are starting out in um in um in tracking all right friends until next time stay blessed and stay safe bye bye